you mentioned SEO and 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 such. I I started seeing this power triangle in my in my head, and I I noticed how LinkedIn, Twitter, and a blog. And you know, a blog typically connected to a website, but between those three things, as you were building audience, I could actually see where it was driving. I could drive traffic to a website. I could drive traffic yeah. to my website through through those. I could drive traffic to my profile on link on LinkedIn through through Twitter. And you, you could start seeing those connections. And once I started seeing those connections, I really started focusing on my target markets for those platforms and strategies for those platforms, you know, to, to grow that to grow those followings. So this is, you were talking around 2002, 2003, but you've been doing this for 30 years, right? So I know you started when you were four years old, right? Four or five, right? You <laughs> yeah. can think a few years. I know you were a very early adopter, even you know, in diapers, I think at that point, you were you were doing some marketing stuff. But like, what made you jump into, I mean, you said you're, you started off in sales, which I always think is a good thing to understand because, you know, sales and marketing are always these these two different departments that are trying to figure each other out, right? Like. Sales are always like, oh, we're not going to get enough leads. And marketing's like, oh, they're just not closing them right. Not always, but you know, there's there's always that friendly little thing that goes on. And so I think having a background in sales is definitely beneficial. But how did you? What? And so thirty years ago, when you started, was that when you started doing sales, or you don't have to fully I, disclose if it was later than that? And if you no, were two years old, remember when you started? No. Well, I, 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 hell, I don't mind saying. I, I mean, I, I just in January I turned sixty. So, nice. Think, think of, and I'll, I'll tell you this that. You, you look at people born the last five years of the baby boomers, 1959 through 1964. We, we are a dangerous and right on group. And from this perspective, think about this. In, in 1977, we're 18 graduating from, from high school. In, in 1981, it's when we're graduating from, from college, we're, we're graduating at the exact same time Microsoft's coming out. The IBM personal. I grew up. My dad had a Radio Shack franchise. I grew up with a TRS-80 com, com, computer. So you, you know, you, we sometimes talk about today's kids growing up with you know social media. We grew up with the c- c- computer and the internet. Really, I mean, we were of an old enough age to understand that technology and to adapt adapt it as it went. And so, you know, that made me early on to computers, early on to the internet. When social media came, it you know it was just a natural extension of what I was already learning on the go because at that point in my life, you know, I'm in my 30s, uh, it, it's I'm in the prime of what I'm doing with with NCR and everything, and I wasn't about to get left behind. So, um, no, the, be be watchful of those people born between 59 and 64 because we literally are the ones who grew up with this stuff. <laughs> well, that's- 